If you have a Laravel application and you're looking for a way for your users to search through your application, consider using Laravel Scout and MilliSearch. And in these instructions, we're going to show you how to set up Laravel Scout on your project and install MilliSearch on your server. The first couple steps are going to be to install Laravel Scout and get it up and running on your project. So let's go ahead and open up an example project. In my example project, I opened up the composer.json file and you can see down here under the require section, we're going to add Laravel Scout. And of course you could do this from the command line, which would be typing composer require Laravel and then forward slash scout. I already have this installed, so it's not going to install anything new. And then the next thing that we'll do is scout publishes an asset library and we could have that published. So let's go ahead and do that. And the command that we're gonna type in, I'm just gonna clean that up a bit, is php artisan vendor publish, then dash dash provider equals, and then we're gonna add in the path. So it's Laravel backslash scout backslash scout service provider. And of course, look at that. I've added too many p's to php. And then click on enter again and publish is complete the next step is to go and enhance the model in which we're going to be capturing the search information so i have that model as blog post.php file yours may be named differently but this is the location the model that you want to go into which is going to be in under app models and then you could add your own uh, model to extend this or you know if you're working on a, a project that already has this go in there and modify it as we'll see here what we want to do is add this line right here. We're going to use Laravel backslash scout backslash searchable. And then make sure that we also call out use searchable. Let's scroll down a little bit more. I've extended this function right here for the two searchable array and added this criteria in there. So basically what I want to index is the ID, user ID, title, and content for my blog post. This may look different for whatever it is that you're trying to index. So Depending on what you're indexing, you'll modify this accordingly. But again, we'll just want to extend this public function to searchable array with this criteria here. In Cleaver, I've already provisioned a fresh new server that I'm going to use for this example. And let's go ahead and add a new site to this. So I'm going to click on add site and then choose Laravel as the app type. And for domain name, I'm just going to enable the use temporary domain. And under advanced options, let's see, let's go ahead and set up a database and let's use mysql 8.0 and we'll use these default settings here and then click on add and this is going to add all the dependencies for laravel onto the server uh, which includes adding mysql 8 as well as php 8.0 now that our new laravel site has been added to our server let's go and click on quick scripts and we're going to install milli search so i already have a quick script created for install milli search, I'm going to expand it so you can see it. It's kind of a small window here. And you could also get this information, the script from the guide. Uh, but basically, you can see it here. We're going to add the milli search package. We're going to install it using app install. And then we're going to launch it. Let's go ahead and click on run now. And we're going to make sure to run it as root. Okay. And then click on run. And this is going to go through the process of installing milli search on the target server here. And I don't know if this is going to actually close because I don't think we get a return that the process is completed since the last step is basically we're running milli search and I think that's just going to be a perpetual process. We'll give it a little while and then we'll click out of it and then we'll go and set up the rest of our new site. All right, so back at our site, we're going to click on deployment workflow and do some configurations here. The first one is we want to configure the repo settings. I have this under my GitHub account and the repository. And then it was the simple blog app Laravel example. And the branch to deploy is the main branch. Okay, that all looks good. So we're going to update that. And then next, let's go to the environment section. Cleaver has a lot of the presets here. And we'll want to add a couple new ones for milli search. And I'm going to paste it right here. And we're basically telling Scout that we're going to use milli search as the driver. And the host is at port 7700, which is the default. Uh, for milli search and scout queue is true and milli search key so we want a master key here i think it needs to be longer than this so let's add some gibberish at the end of it and then you'll want to make sure that you save this key here so i'm going to copy that and then store it so i can reuse it later all right let's go ahead and sync the environment file and then at this point 
I'm going to go to deployment hooks. I believe for this particular project, I don't need to build a front end asset. So I'm going to disable that deployment hook. And I think we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and click on deploy now. And while this is deploying, let's go back to the server. And in the server section here, we want to add a new process monitor to basically watch MilliSearch and keep it alive. So we'll click on a new one and I'll title it MilliSearch. And for command, we're going to put in the path forward slash root forward slash MilliSearch. And then put in the master key, master dash p equals, okay. And then we'll want to run this as root. And then click on Add Process Monitor. And that should start MilliSearch and keep it alive. Let's go back and see if our app has deployed. Okay, it looks like we did run into an error. Let's see if we can tell why. Ah, well, it looks like it wants PHP 8.1 instead of 8.0, which is what we have installed. So I'm just going to switch this all to 8.1 real quick, and then come back here, and then we'll try to redeploy. All right, I switched the site over to PHP 8.1. Let's go ahead and deploy again. Ta-da, it's deployed out. All right, so let's click on visit site and take a look at what we got. All right, cool. So we have our example site. Let's go ahead and add a couple blog posts real quick. Okay, let's add a new post. Post one, we'll just add some gibberish. Click on create, and then let's add another post. Post two. And then click on create, and let's do the third one real quick. All right, so we can see some posts that have been added here. I didn't add any search functionality to this uh, example blog for a user to interface with, but what we could do is MilliSearch has a dashboard that we could take a look at and use that to search through the blog content. So let's go set up that real quick. Back to Cleaver, and on the server that we had set up, we could add a new site, and then we'll use the generic port app, and then use a temporary domain for this, and MilliSearch automatically runs on port 7700. So we'll type that in there and then click on add. All right, that installs pretty quick there. So let's go ahead and visit that site and we should see the MilliSearch dashboard, which we could see right here. And we already see those three blog posts that we have. And now what we could do is let's say, you know, let's search for hello. And I had those on two of the posts and it's highlighted there or let's look for world. And I had that on one of the posts and we could see that here. And that's just a quick example of how you could use Laravel Scout and MilliSearch to drive search functionality on your website. I hope you guys enjoyed.